Hi everyone, welcome to this week's Urban Uncut. As you can see, my partner in crime, Simon, is not here. He is still over the pond in Vegas, finished up at SEMA. Then he's going to LA to go and see some potential clients, which is very exciting. Let's not waste any time. Let's see what's happening this week. So I'm gonna get in, fire it up, and let you listen to it. No, but I want you to do this on both cars. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll get it done as soon as possible for you. Hi guys, so I have left Lenny in the office today to figure out the coffee machine all by himself so that I can bring this Bentley Bentayga out. This customer is actually a friend of mine. So this Bentley has an awesome set of UV1 Vossens on it, 24 inch and a full carbon kit. We don't see many Bentaygas, so it's really, really nice to see this. Yeah, let's get it back to the office and get it back to the customer. Free car wash outside. You know what they call that? God's polish in the used car trade, apparently. Uh, miserable, miserable. Anyway, hi everyone. Right, I wanted to show you this RSQ8 because it looks absolutely awesome. But on my way through to the workshop, I've just spotted this EQC, which is now lowered. That looks, that looks really nice. It's a nice option. Obviously you can keep it at a standard height if you want. Um, I've actually driven this car and it, there's not a huge amount of difference in comfort, but it gives it that sort of lower squatter um, stance. That looks really good. Really, really good. I think that needed that. Just 20, 30 mil lowering. But like I say, it's a nice option. You can have it either standard or, uh, or lowered like that. Right, let's have a look at this RSQ8. I think this is the first one we've done in black with the gloss carbon because the first one we did had the satin. Now this looks lovely and it's also got our new 24 inch UC6 alloys which look fantastic. Nice little option there. Yeah, it looks great. So this is my customer, Kim, good friend of mine. Um, this is probably car number seven or eight he's had off me. Uh, a few months back, he sold his Nero Urus um, and bought a Hurricane Perth but he's missing the usability of a everyday sports car. So I think that's a pretty good two car garage. Uh, Urban RSQ8 and a Hurricane Perth. Now this has had an exhaust done. Every car that Kim has, he wants them louder, he wants them more aggressive. This has had our um, exhaust. So I'm gonna get in, fire it up and let you listen to it.
what a lovely thing. I'm sure you'll be happy with that, but that looks great with the gloss carbon and the gloss black wheels. Very nice, very shiny. <laughs> Technical terms, very nice, very shiny. You all right? I'm good, how are you? Finally, you've come to the I know, mecca been of long, long overdue. Yeah, long absolutely. overdue. Look, I've strategically put the, our new colour then here for you to see, because I know that you're not a huge fan of big modifications. No, not but, on certain cars. But you've come to see me about modifying yeah, yeah, yeah. your well, you, car, well, you, so. you converted me. <laughs> come you're through. modifying me. Yeah, come through. Wow, look at that. So. This looks different to the previous um, so one I've seen This before. is our version two, so there's going to be two different styles. The first bumper, um, it was very 50-50. Got a little bit of criticism for being a bit too aggressive. Yeah. Obviously, we've got two different types of clients. Some people like big, loud, brash, aggressive looking. Some people want something a little bit OEM plus. I think it looks great. I think that colour's good as well. Yeah, Tempest Grey. It's, like a, it's a sort of between Porsche Crayon and Nardo, isn't it? What do you think then? As someone who doesn't really modify cars, what do you think? Well, look, okay, so Rolls-Royce is a brand that, you know, is, you know, British heritage and the ultimate class and luxury and quality and mm -hmm. success. Mm -hmm. um, but Rolls-Royce owners and users have become younger and younger and younger Absolutely. and younger. I mean, I, I, had, a, I had a Rolls-Royce when I was 19 mm. and all my friends were like, you know, why? why why? Well, the Wraith and the Dawn brought the, the, yeah, the age I, right I now, had a Phantom it? drop it in 07. Is that what you said? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was 19. But I love it. I mean, uh, you know, alongside Lamborghini, Rolls-Royce is, is probably my favourite yeah, yeah, brand. Yeah. And like you say, the, the age has come right down from the 60s, 70s aristocrats yeah, yeah, and yeah. older gentlemen to... But look, Rolls-Royce are designing their cars now. This is an SUV. Mm. You know, since when would... If you said to Rolls-Royce in the 80s or the 70s, you know, you're going to make SUVs one day. Yeah. They'd be like... What? So they know, don't they? They see of what's course, going on. So the, the age has come down and there's more and more people um, around our age who want something a little bit extra. You, but you know what? Okay, so there's certain companies that modify Rolls Royces that do an awful job. They go too far. And I think that's the problem with kits. You can ruin a car. The same with the Urus. Um, yeah. You guys do a great job in the Urus. Yeah. Like Mansory, for instance. I don't like when they mess around with the bonnet and it's just too it's much. It's quite aggressive. Um, but this is... Um, this is nice. Yeah? Yeah, this is nice. Got the Carl like Hartley it. seal of approval. I really like it. Nice. Right. Let's forget that then because that's, you're How not here. How much is it going to cost me to oh, make yeah. this look like right, that? Right, okay. So you <laughs> bought me this. This is your new 110 hardtop or commercial. So this is a new touring yeah, vehicle. Yeah. So the story with this is I've got two of these. Yeah. Um, because we, we deliver and collect cars with our trailers and, and we've got a discovery that's just died a death. Right. So um, I need a... I need a Defender. The Discovery 5 is like quite a good looking car anyway. It doesn't yeah. need a huge amount of modifications to this look car, good. All this car had, we ordered it quite well. It had a set of 22s on it, which are better for towing anyway. Yeah, yeah. And um, I think it was HSE spec or whatever yeah. it might be. It, you know, it is what it is. It's got But let's needs. face it, I don't think you could drive this standard like it is now, could you? No, <laughs> no, no, there's, it's, it's, Obviously, this is a commercial version. Yeah, yeah. Because of tax benefits, yeah. by the way. Now, the, the first thing I'm looking at is, is the wheels. Now, we both know that wheels make a car. So, what's coming through my mind earlier, <laughs> right, is I'm going to take this to come and see Lenny. And I know what you like. You just got Lenny, just sort me out a set of wheels and like, just a couple of little bits and stuff like that. You know I'm going to try and buy hardly stuff. That's what I'm you. thinking. I think I definitely need some wheels. Yeah, OK. Um, and let's see what else, maybe. Well, look, okay, let me, right, so we've seen this, we've seen how basic Becky she is. Yeah. But, you know, we, we can make this look pretty without going too over the top, because at the end of the day, this is going to be going to your clients' houses, yeah, yeah. you know, as a tow oh, it's vehicle. Got to look the part. It's got to look the part. It's got and look the you're part. flying the urban flag for us in your tow vehicle. So yeah. I'm not going to push something onto you that I don't think is going to look yeah. um, fitting of the Hartley brand. So come with me. Um, I've got a 90 here that has got most of our bits, nearly all of our bits on it. So we'll use this as an example. Obviously yours is a 110, this is a 90. But as you can see already, even just with some wheels, colour coding and a few bits and pieces, 
It, yeah, because you see the, the, the back part of that bumper there is silver. It, exactly, yeah. So all the colour coding will be done. So the body mouldings, the front and rear bumpers. Now, so there'll be no plastic around the... No plastic, no, no plastic. silver, no, okay. no grey pl plastic. Rear spoiler. It looks good. Yeah? So you smiled when you saw that. <laughs> so I'm going so to put that down as a tick. Rear spoiler. Rear spoiler. Okay, we'll I go think, rear I think spoiler. rear spoiler. I like the colour coded. Yeah. Um, although them wheels are nice, I, I don't like them wheels. Uh, no, I prefer the uh, another set that you do. Yeah, I'm the sure UC5, I think, is probably a little bit more suited. It's a bit more of a sort of luxury looking wheel. It's a bit more like a Range Rover wheel. So mm -hmm. that was the one that I was going to suggest to you. Okay. Uh, we'll put that on screen, Cam, the, uh, the UC5. We'll put it up here. Um, so yeah, now the other thing we need to speak about is arches. Now you don't have any wide arches on. No. These are our wide track arches. Now we do two different types. We've got the OEM Land Rover arches, which are extensions, mm -hmm. uh, but they're not as wide as these. Mm -hmm. Now these aren't physically wider. They won't stick out of the car, but the way we've designed them where they come out a little bit more aggressive here, they yeah. come out more and then down. They just look really smart and they go with the 22s. I think the, the arches are a must. Mm -hmm. It finishes off the car, especially if you're colour coding it. Yeah. Well, look, I've got a 110 outside that has got the OEM arches. So, should we side go and have step. a look at that? I need side steps. Right, let's go and have a look at this one then. So, these are the OEM Land Rover exten arch extensions that we've painted. Right. So, they're not as aggressive. They don't, they don't look See, the like other ones, The other much. ones start higher, don't they? Yeah, exactly that. Because yeah. this is cut out. Yeah. And what, what comes on uh, uh, an arch kit? So it's a six-piece um, set. So, so what, the, what I'm saying is, though, you, you, these, this is, this is just... We'll paint, yeah, so they're, they're, you, you they're standard, these, but, this, but we'll paint them. Okay. They're standard Land and, and the back bits, they're standard? Standard, and we'll paint those. Front bits? We'll paint all that. So your one is silver here, or grey here, yeah. and we'll obviously all colour code that as well. And the... Um, the grill bar as well. But yeah, I'd like, I, I, do, some... I, I do prefer them arches. Okay, well let's have a look at the, those and then the, uh, the lower canards. Right, so back to this 90 then, the lower canards. So with the wide track arches, we've designed these lower canards, which is kind of like a half splitter. Yeah, down here. Oh, that, finish it off. that finishes, finishes it off. That finishes it off. Yeah. The only thing is you could only have this with our wide track arches. It's designed to go with our wide track arches. <laughs> Okay. How's that for a sales tax? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it all ties in together. I, I, I think that's what the other ones are missing. Yeah, so we're going spoiler, uh, rear wheel cover, because that's our branding, and that's yeah, you yeah, yeah, the flag for that. us. Yeah, of course. Um, 22 inch alloys, side steps, wide track arches, canards. Right, okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> Have you got your wallet on you? Oh, right, OK, so we'll, we'll question mark that for now. OK. But considering you only came in here for wheels, I think I've done all right. You haven't done but all right. I want, you, no, but I want you to do this on both cars. Yeah. Right, so matchy, matchy. Match, you've got to match. Perfect. Yeah, we'll do that then. Yeah? Oh, yeah? OK. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll get it done as soon as possible for you. So, so like that, but extended. Where's these wheels? Can I see the other wheels? So it's a 22 inch alloy. So the Defender, do you only do 22s in the Defender? Do you do 23s? You can do 23s, uh, uh, but do you, you think... have to go hybrid forged or forged. A little bit more expensive, slightly skinnier attire as well. For what I want it for, though, I don't really need. You don't really. And twenty twos, but they, you know, they fill the arches perfectly. You still have a decent profile tire. Yeah, it's fine for what you need. What do you do for the wheels? Because the, the arches are extended. Do you yeah. put any spaces? No, no, because they're, they're they're the right offset. So, so they'll, they'll fit flush. Flush. They won't the sit arch. in. Not at all. Okay. No. So that's probably our most popular wheel. That's the WX2. It's very similar to the uh, twenty two inch SVR alloy. Yeah, I like uh, them. But we've made it a little bit more aggressive with like these uh, cutouts here. Yeah. So that's a really popular wheel. Um, we've got the UC5, which is a little bit more like a Range Rover wheel. It's is, a little bit more dressy. Is this black? Satin black. Is that the same black as that black? Yes. Is it? Yeah. It may just be the light or something. Could be just the light. In. Um, or we've got the WX1, which is quite a chunky wheel. We don't really do polished face anymore. I think we've got a satin black one down there. Or it's the same one as the, the 110 that I showed you outside. So it's between these two. Yeah. What do you think? Well, that's the most popular. Not many like people go gone for those. They're quite. They are quite. I think that look good on a Range Rover Sport or something. Yeah, they are quite dressy for a, for a Defender. I'm gonna go them. WX2s. Yep. Perfect on both. Yeah. On both. Nice. So they've got a match. Got a match. Perfect. Okay. 
I, but I want them in this chrome red. Unfortunately, I wouldn't ever allow you to do that, Carl. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's um, that's it boxed off. Both cars. Now, you, now we've just got to talk prices, which is always yeah. the, the, the hardest part for me when it comes to you. See, that's where I come into my own. No, 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 <laughs> I know. And this is where I'll probably just have to call Sire and say, uh, yeah, could you just speak to Carl for me, please? Because I've got no authority in the amount of discount that he wants to have <laughs> off these two vehicles. But you told me you don't give discounts. <laughs> and we don't. Well, there you go. So. I'll have to try and maybe get free delivery back. We'll run them up to you. How about right. that? Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, look, I've got to shoot. Okay. But um, I'll leave this one with you. Yeah. The next one's coming next week. Perfect. And um, but as soon as this is done, I could do it back because I'm towing at the minute with an SV five liter autobiography. Ooh. Yeah. Just doing four miles to the gallon. I thought you was looking a little bit skinny, so you're not eating as well. Not are eating you? at all. Your, yeah. Not eating at all. <laughs> ba baked bean diet. <laughs> That's just the money that comes in and put in the SV. <laughs> we'll get them sorted as soon as possible for Thank you. Thank you, mate. Good to see you, mate. Thank nice you. one. Cheers, Thank pal. You. See you later. Guess who's back? Back, back again. again. Simon's back. Got me mate back, ain't I? Did you miss me? I did. How was Vegas and SEMA? And LA. And LA. So I flew in last night overnight. I had a whole night's sleep. Nice, nice fresh, which is good. Um, you know what, SEMA is exactly the same as it always was, but LA was phenomenal. I had one of the best meetings of my life with two of the biggest key players out there, and I am Buzzing. My personal favourites as well. I know, right? we're not going to tell anyone about no, it yet because it's, it's going to so be happening cool. over the next few weeks. Obviously, the, the release of the new Cullinan, which we did last week. Yeah. Thanks ever so much for your comments, guys. That, that was like, that warmed my heart to know that I'd taken your comments on board, rectified it, and made something that is amazing. Yeah, and it is amazing. It's, it's completely, yeah, my favourite car now. So I left right. you in charge. Yes. For eight days. Yes. What did you sell? Grey G63. Come on, ding! Black G63. <laughs> RSQ8 Carbon Edition. <laughs> RSQ8 Vorsprung. Ding! And what else? <laughs> he sold the first colour that would have been killed! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> my, person, my, my biggest sale yet. My biggest, yes. my biggest sale yet. So, £425,000 Cullen and in the bag. It obviously works. You got your wallet on you because I want my commission. I want my commission now. <laughs> you can't have it out the door yet. <laughs> so yeah, so while I was away, hugely successful sales week. Smashed the car sales, smashed everything else that was going on. I know this has been a Lenny heavy episode, but I'm back. It's so it's cool. And people with massive sigh of relief. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're either going to get the comments at the bottom, which will obviously delete. They're going to say, I love it when he's on his own. Oh, thank yeah, God Simon's yeah, back. Yeah, one yeah. It's one or the other, isn't it? It's yeah, one or the other. Yeah, but anyway, is. thanks for watching and make sure you share, like, and subscribe. And for next week, just to add in, we've got the SEMA special week. It's going to be half hour footage of everything we did at the show. So that's coming up. See you next week. Yeah.